Hello, welcome to the promotion scope and welcome to the replay. Excited to have you here. Thank you for stopping by and checking out what I have to say. If you have any questions for me, make sure you put them in the comments. I'm ready to engage with you and say some good things, answer some questions. And if you're watching the replay, then you can hit my, well, you can't hit anything. <laughs> you can send me a DM or send me a message and I'll come back and, you know, and, and answer questions or anything. Let me change it around. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the promotion scope. Hello, how you doing? I'm trying to pull it up a little bit. Me and my little camera. Hi, I'm Mashonda Hoffman, your promotion coach. I am here to help you stay consistent with your promotion. I'm all excited. It's the summertime. We're in my dresses and my sandals, and I'm all excited. It's so hot here in St. Louis. I hope it's not as hot as where you are at. But if it is, stay cool, stay cool. Um, this month, and hopefully for the summer, I am going to be focusing on a series called um promotion challenges hello hello how you doing today and um i want to talk about promotion challenges because that is something that we are having a lot of issues with i did a little um how you doing welcome a little survey on my promotion group and i came up with 10 promotion challenges that writers are having right now and this summer I'm going to be talking about it. I've created a program that I'll talk about later and tell you a little bit about. Hi, Chandra! And so um, I'm excited to talk to you about different things. Um, one of the things that I get from authors all the time is where do I get, where do I start? Where do I start with promotion? Hello, good evening, so good to see you. And um, so I wanted to talk about finding places to promote because that is one of the biggest problems that writers have is, you know, they come to me and they go, well, where else can I promote? I can promote on Sword Mag and where else can I promote? And it's hard for me to give them places to promote because each person, each book is different. And so that's why I tell you in my book, Building Online Relationships, that you have to take time to research your books. Each book is different and each audience will be different. Unless you're writing the same thing like romance or something like that. If you're doing nonfiction, you're doing uh, mysteries and different things like that, you need to know where your audience is. And learning where to promote is where you find out where your audience, where, you, where to find your audience. And so today I'm going to be um, talking about how to find places to promote. So if you got a notebook pad, I definitely say take a moment and get your notebook so you can write some of these notes down. If not, then you go and pick up my book, Building Online Relationships. You can download it real fast, and it has some of the similar things in there, too, about finding your um, places to promote. It talks a lot about, about that. But, um, you know, I recommend before you um, put your book out there, oh, thank you for sharing, Chandra, that you um, do this three to six months before you release. I know, you're probably waiting now. My book is out there already. It's, you still have time. You still have time, but I highly recommend it. You take time three to six months before because when your book comes out, you have so much stuff that you're doing. You don't have time to be trying to find places to promote. You should already know that. You should have already contacted these people and your books is getting in front of them. If you haven't contacted them, then you're trying to get into contact with them. If you wait till your book releases, man, you're putting a bunch of stuff on your plate that you don't have to. And so that's why I say three to six months before your book releases. Most people know when their book is releasing. Even if you self-publish, you know, okay, this is when I want, I want my book to come out this fall. And you need to be working hard trying to find some places to put your books, uh, put your books in. And so, um, so I, hopefully you got your notebook and we can get ready to start. So my first tip for you is to schedule time so you can find these places, to find these, um, research your, new, your uh, marketplaces. One of the things that people don't do is make time for this. Um, if, if you just got 15, I, 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 I'm constantly talking about 15 minutes, but if you just got 15 minutes each day, take that 15 minutes and say, uh, each day I'm going to find three new places to promote my book. How many places should you promote? It's up to you. But for me, I would, I would say start with 10. 10 would get you good. If you really want to do, this is what I tell my clients. 
two places a month. You want two places that you're promoting in a month. So, you know, get get, get 24 places that you want to promote to, you know, and th this includes maybe if you want to do interviews and things like that. But you have to, hi, Kiana, you have to, you got to find these places. And so um, one of the tips that I uh, give my, uh, my clients is, Look at what other people are doing. Do not make the, this so hard for you. So maybe you got three girlfriends who's writing, they're publishing books, they write romance. Uh, go check out where they've been. Go to their site because I'm sure they have links. How you doing? They have links on their sites that says where they've been. They've been to Sora Mag. They've been on EDC Creations. Maybe they did a, a, a book tour with uh, Paulette Harper. You know, go look and see where places are, where people are going that feature your audience. You want to go to their audience. If you don't have any friends that's like that, then you got to you got to do some serious. Okay, we're gonna have a blocking thing already. There go. <laughs> you're gonna have to do your homework, and that's when I say Google is your friend. One of the things that to start doing your to um, before you can find your places to promote, you have to know who your audience is. Hello, Miss Jeanette. Welcome. You need to know who your audience is. Who is your reader? Who is it you're trying to get in front of? If you know that, then you won't have a hard time finding where to promote. If you don't know that, then you need to sit down, make time, and figure out who is your audience. Because then you'll know, do you need to go on blogs? Do you need to go on magazines? Do you need to go um, in front of... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Do you need to go and do interviews? You know, do you need to go on groups? Do you need to go in front of book clubs? You need to know all this about your, your audience so you know how to find them and where they are. And then that will help you in trying to figure out where you want to go. All right. So number two is, like, I'm right on my schedule. I'm just saying it. Number two is, where is your reader? So so here's, here's a list of what I said, a little bit more information. So I said, what blogs do they like? What blogs are they on? You know, um, here's a cheat, another cheat thing. I'm, I'm always trying to make it as simple as possible. I tell my 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 clients, go to your Facebook, page, go to your Facebook page, go to your Facebook profile, and ask these questions. If you if you follow me, you know I ask tons of questions. That's my mini surveys I'm doing. I've learned that people don't like to do surveys because it takes forever, especially if you're doing 20 questions. So I just take my little questions and do them once a, you know, once a week. I put a question out there and ask you something, you know, so I can learn about my people, my readers. And you can do the same thing. So you put on your thing, what blogs do you like to go to? Who are you visiting? Tell me some of your blogs you like to go to. Bam. Somebody might give you six or seven blogs. Maybe they're not going to blogs. So then you go, oh, okay, my readership is not going to blogs. Hmm. So next thing is, what online magazines are you reading? Hmm, you reading Sora Mag? Who else? Are you reading the Hope Magazine? Who else are you reading? Check it out. What, um, what sites do you visit? Do you even go to websites? Whose sites do you like to go visit? You know, some people are so much on Facebook, they're not even going to uh, websites anymore. But then again, some might go, you know. Sora Mag is a site, somebody might go there, you know. What groups are they in? What groups do you like? Who groups do you know? I'm one of my favorite groups is Brad. I'm on there. I love it. I love that I get to meet different authors that's on there. Readers love that. Who are they? Who groups are they in? That's where you want to be at. You want to be. You don't want to be in those groups that are just promoting the book. You want to be in those groups where there's some engagement with the readers. You want to go in there. Well, I say Brad because Brad is fantastic for if you're a romance writer. They are fantastic. They feature you. They talk to you. They do book in, book uh, discussions with you. They showcase they showcase my book, which is a true blessing because it's a nonfiction. But Sharon rocks, and so she um, she let me be a feature author for the day. So how cool was that? Okay. So you want that? You want to be that cool writer that's getting featured for the day in those groups. You want to know what book clubs are they are uh, are they reading in? Like I have Sora Mac e readers. We invite the the uh, um, the writers to come in there and talk to us and have book discussions. There are other book clubs that do that, online and offline. So you want to find where are your readers, what book clubs they are. Ask them, are you in a book club? Can I get invited to your book club? What are the guidelines? You know, find out. Find out what the guidelines. Don't just send your books to everybody. You want to know what the guidelines are. If they even, re you know, get books. Some people don't even accept books. They might just say, hey, what? tell me a little bit about your book. Okay. And what are they doing on all these different things? You want to know all this information before you get started. 
So you check these places out. You want to go in there and check them out. Go check out each place. Is this a place that you feel are good about being um, associated with? Maybe you get on there and they're not and they're not doing Christian books. They only doing urban fiction. So just because somebody likes them, that doesn't mean just be. Don't be that person that goes, well, they read books, they read my books. You don't want to offend anybody, and you don't want to get offended. And so you want to make sure you are in the spots that you want to be showcased at. You know, you want to be, you want to make sure that your books, your readership is there. You don't want to just be going to be because somebody's promoting the book. You want to be there. Like my book, my Sword Man, we are dedicated to romance readers, but they read other things, so we can do that. You know, but you need to know that about each place that you're going into. You know, I can't even read my hand right. That's sad. <laughs> you know, you want to know who the contact person is. Don't just get send, send a blank email. Hey, I want to be on your site. Find out who the people are. Find out. I, I love when a person, I know when a person comes contacts me. For one, they say they spell my name right. I know they say LaShonda, I, okay, they did their research, they looked me up. When they send me a message that says, Dear Editor, they haven't done their research. And so guess what? I'm going to put them probably at the bottom because do your research. It's not that hard to find out who, who the editor is of the place. It's not that hard to find out who the hostess is. Find that person out. Dear Book Club, really? Seriously? Mm -mm. That's not professional. Find out. Do your research. That's why I'm saying take time and learn who people are. Be personable. Find out who they are. Join the book clubs and see what they do before you say, okay, do I even want to be in here? Because I come in here and they bashing the heck out of the office, chopping them chop, chop, chop. You, do you want to be like that? Do your research. And you go in there pitching to these people and then they come in there and their favorite thing is to chop your heads off, chop up your book, chop up everything. You don't want, that's not the type of promotion you want. So make sure you're doing your research. Find out if this is a place that's good for you. And you sit, same way with, you know, sending some reviews to people. Are these people, some people like to chop up a person. That's their, that's their fun for the day. You know, so make sure that this is something that you want to be associated with before you start pitching yourself to them. So the next thing is number four is to write your intro letter. Now, as again, I said, make sure you know that person's name. Don't be slaw slaw. Call, oh man, people fly my name up. Just mess it all up. And I, I have a good laugh because people do mess it up. But if you if you mess it up, then I, then I still think that you did a little bit of research and tried to figure it out. They put an R in my name all the time, LaShondra. I'm, 49 years, it's never been LaShondra, never will be. But. I know that they've taken time to try to look me up, you know. So tell the person who you are. Tell them a little bit about your book. Do not, do not, this is one of my pet peeves. Do not say, go to this link and check me out. Mm-mm. I hate that. And people do that all the time. I got time to go check you out. You're supposed to be introducing me to you. Why I got to go check you out? Mm-mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Tell me a little bit about you. Tell me how excited you are about your book. Tell me what my reader is going to get out of reading your book. You know, and then tell me what you want. Do you want an interview? Do you want to be a guest author? Do you want to do a blog on there? Do you want to write an article? Do you want to do a workshop? Tell me what you want to do. Bam. That's all it is, an intro letter. You don't have it. It's not that hard. It's not, you know, a lot of people that send press kits. They send in all these information. People don't have time for that. And you send an attachment, they're going to delete you immediately. Because most people, if they don't know you, they're not going to open your attachment. So put everything inside of the email. Send me some stuff. Send me a picture of you so I know you're a real person. You know, send me a beautiful book cover so I know that the, what the book looks like. It's not some hot butt naked lady on the front. That's important to me. I need to know that, and I need to know that if I can work with you. You know, sometimes I can't. So I want to be honest and say, okay, why? You know, so you want to, you're doing your research. You know that you, you can work with LaShonda. You already did that research, and you already done that. That's why you're sending your intro letter. Here's a big tip. Do not bug me. Do not bug that person. Do not send a message back two seconds later. Did you get my mail? Did you send it? Do not send me a Facebook saying, did you get my mail? Did you send it? Did you read it? What you going to do? Have you seen that commercial where the little man is uh, talking about he get a job and then he calls the man on the phone? Hey, did you get that? <laughs> no, don't be that person. Give me at least three days or maybe a week 
am expi- most of the time I respond the same day. But sometimes I get busy and sometimes other people get busy. So don't be that 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 person that's bugging me, telling me uh why haven't I returned responded to you. It's been long enough. Really? Do you really want to start a relationship that way by being a mean, mean thing? No, no, no. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and you don't want to be that person. Oh, see, somebody just said LaShondra. Uh-oh. <laughs> Put that R in there. Is that R in LaShondra? It's not. But I forgive you. <laughs> I'm just talking about that. Make sure that you know how to spell the person's name. Don't fly that up on your first introduction. You want that you want that first impression to be fantastic. You know, the first I I am a name person and I even if I can't spell your say your name, I'm gonna come to you and I'm gonna ask you before I say especially when I do podcasts, I'm gonna say before we start this, please tell me how to say your name. I have one person I messed their name up the whole podcast. I got off the pocket I wanted to cry. I'm like, I just met that lady because I kept seeing it in my head the way it was wrong. And I kept saying it wrong. <laughs> so, you know, you want to be, you, it's, it's all about building relationships. You come to me right, I'm going to come to you right. That's just how building relationships is all about. And so you want to do, you want to make that first impression. You want, bam, oh my gosh, you come to me. Um, I am so excited about my book. It's coming out, and I want to tell you about it. I think it'd be great for Sore Mag readers, and I just want to tell you a little bit about it. I am available for an interview. If you want me to do a guest blogging, I can do that. I can do a podcast with you. I am available. What can I do to help you? Bam! That's it. That's all to it. And I'm like, Ooh, who is this person? They excited about that book. I love an excited person about that book. When you're excited, when you contact me, I've been trying to get on everybody's stuff. Nobody, I had, I had a person do me that. Nobody is replying to me. Nobody's answering that. This is hard trying to sell these books if nobody ain't answering the email. That's it. It's <laughs> like, wow. But the Lashonda, I didn't, I didn't delete it. I sent her a message and I said. I understand you're having a rough time. I said, but honey, if you're sending these type of emails out, you don't have a continue. You're going to continue to have a rough time. I said, so be positive. People have jobs to do just like you have jobs to do, and it takes time. If no one is responding, move on to the next person. Don't get upset. Don't take it personal. If you are sending an email, think about all those 50,000 other authors that are doing the same thing. So that's 50,000 authors they'll probably get. You know, I get 20, 30 emails. Uh-uh. Let me be for real. I get 200 emails a day. <laughs> and I have to weed through to find those authors. So, I'm just a small bean on the shop, you know. The big people, I'm sure they're getting way more than that. So, always be considerate that, that it, it, you know, they're not, they're not ignoring you. They're not. They're not trying to be mean to you. They're not trying not to help you sell your book. Because, like I tell people all the time, we are in this together. We are a team. If I can help you sell books, you can sell books. And you can help me make some money, I can help you make some money. It's a joint thing. It's, I'm all about building relationships and being joint. If no one is finding you on the comment denominator, you have to re-examine what you're doing. Exactly, exactly. You know, uh, <clears throat> most times you got to read. It's just like a, a writer would do. It's, this is a, your query letter. You know how you send a query letter and you might not get nothing back? And you go, <gasps> and then every now and then that one lovely editor will send you a message back and say, Honey, I like this, but it's not what we're looking for right now. Bam. So you know, okay, then let it work. It worked. I can move on to the next one. You know, and so that's the same way with the intro letter. If it, if you're not getting no responses, you might want to rethink your intro letter. Look at it and see what's going on. Ask your friend to read it and see. You know, as you know, if you know me, then you can send a message to me, Lashonda. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Please help me. I have no problem with that. Okay. And number five, you do it all over again. It's 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 a vicious circle. It never ends. You're doing the research. You're trying to find where your art artist is, and you go and look at the art place. Is this something that you want to be associated with? Do I want to go there? Do I want to promote there? Then you got to go and write your lovely intro letter to let them know who you are and introduce yourself so you can do it. Bam. That's all this to finding places to promote. We make it hard because we try to do everything all in one time. Take a little bit, little bites, little bit, little bit. Each day do something different. I know. I, I, and here, I put in here, the schedule on your calendar. Schedule, you're going to write your letters today. Just going to sit down and write some letters. Start emails, because that's what you're doing. Sending emails out. Schedule that on your calendar so you know, okay, Friday, I did my research Monday. Friday, I'm going to send out emails. 
You can do it all in one day, but if you don't have the time, you're not you're just gonna feel overwhelmed. So you know, stretch it out a little bit and do a little bit at a time and get yourself out there. It's not that hard. We make it hard. We make it hard because we want to be everywhere. And you can't. But like I said, try two different places each month. Go somewhere different, introduce yourself, do anything. You letting people know who you are. You're getting in front of new people. The reason you're promoting is because you want to reach new people. You want to go out there and you want to reach new readers. You can't reach new readers just staying on Facebook. And that's all you do every day. If that's all you're doing every day, you need to rethink your promotion plan. You need to get out there. You need to be, if, if you can say that you've been interviewed by somebody this year, then you're doing good. If you say, I've never had an interview, then I, you need to work on that. You need to get somebody to interview you. If nobody else, call LaShonda. I might interview you. You know, but you need to get out there and do some stuff. If you have not done a guest blogger ever in your lifetime, go pick two of them and go be a guest blogger because you want to get in front of their readership. If you have not done any book clubs, Go find some book clubs. They are fantastic. It's a great way to talk to other people and see what they think about your book. And it's a great way to meet some new readers. If they find out about your book, they become these super fans. And they're talking about your books. Everybody's talking. Book clubs talk about books. They are the best way to sell your book. Because if they love it, they're going to tell everybody about it. Because they're going to tell other book clubs about it. Girl, get this book for y'all next monthly meeting. That's what you want. You want people talking about your stuff. You want to get, if you're not in groups, you're not participating in groups, pick two of them and participate and see what they're like. If you don't like them, then go pick two more and try them out. You need to be getting out there meet new people every day. You need to find one reader, I tell my clients, one reader at a time. You can't meet a whole bunch of readers at a time unless you're at a conference. If you're at a conference, yeah, you're going to meet a whole bunch of readers. But um, on social media, it takes time. You got to build up that relationship. You got to get out there and stuff. And so you want to build relationships with these places that you promote in because guess what? They ask you back. If they love you, they have good content from you, they ask you back. I remember I probably didn't interview people four or five times. They have a different book. They got something new to talk about, you know? And so that's what you want. You want them talking about you. You want them helping you promote your book. This is not something you do by yourself. Places to promote help you promote your book. And you help them by giving them fresh new content to share with their readership. So it's a joint effort, always. It's a joint effort. So if you're just coming in, I'm going to give you one more time to get you my tip. Get your uh, notepad out. And the first thing I said about finding places to promote is to take time, to schedule your time to do your research. You need to research these new markets all the time. If you got a new book, you want to be doing it three to six months ahead of time so you can have this together. I'm recommending that you have 24 site places to promote, two site, two places each month. You got somebody new you're going. You're doing an interview. You're doing a blogging, so, uh, guest blogging. Every month you're doing something different. You want to know where your readers are and where they're hanging out at. That's number two. You want to know if they're, what blogs they're on, what magazines they're reading, what um, groups they're in, what book clubs they're in. You want to know all this information so you can go and check these places out. Then you go in there and you check them out and see what they're about. You find out who the hosts are because you want the actual names. You don't want to just send to the host, to the to the book club, to the editor. You want to know an actual name. Go in there and join the stuff. Find out. Read the blogs. This is something you want to be on. You know, because just because your readers like that, that doesn't mean you want to be associated with it. So make sure it's some place that you feel comfortable being with and some place that you fit, don't have a problem sending information to. Then you want to go and write your introduction letter. That's number four. You want to write that letter, let them know who you are, what's going on with your book, when it comes out. Um, what you want, if you want to interview, you want to be a guest blogger, you want to do an article, you want to do a book discussion, or you want to do a workshop, let them know in that letter. Make sure you uh, put all your information on there. Do not ask them to go check you out. You, you let them know who you are in this letter. And then number five, you're going to take all this information I just told you and do it all over again. For each book that you do, each time you want to do a promotion, that's what you're going to be doing. So those are my tips for you on how to find places to promote. It's all about that. If you have any questions, definitely put them in the, um, hello, welcome, put them in the comments and I'll answer them. Oh, thank you, thank you.
thank you. I am um, telling you about that I'm doing the uh, promotion challenges this summer. I create a program. It's called the Promotion Boot Camp. Book Camp. Book Camp. I gotta say that. And it's uh, it'll be starting in June 26th, and you'll get more information. You click my bio, you can get some more information that's coming out. And it's all about um, tackling those promotion challenges that people are having. You know, and we're going to do monthly challenges. Um, there's going to be videos. It's a do-it-yourself thing. So it's a program that you do at your own pace. But um, I'm there to help you pull you along to help you get your get your challenges through. You know, we the first uh, month is about mindset. Our mind uh, hinders us a lot when it comes to promotion. That's one of the biggest challenges that I found with writers is getting over what they need to do to promote. You know, in their mind, they got to get through that mind stuff before they can even start going and looking for promotion, where to find promotion and stuff. And so that's what the promotion boot camp is all about. Tackling those 10 promotion challenges I was telling you about. I'll be talking more about them in the coming weeks. And so if you want to come in and talk to me about them, definitely come in and chat with me. I don't have a set time because I have a working daughter and no telling when when I got to pick her up. So I'll just be popping in probably, you know, between 6 and six and 10. And so um, I'll send out a message let you know when I'm going live so you can come in if you want to come in with me. I definitely appreciate you all coming in tonight. Thank you so much and asking questions and making comments. I appreciate that. It's nice to know I'm talking to somebody instead of talking at them. You know, and if you really want to get started promoting today, get this book, Building Online Relationships. Download it. It will definitely help you. If you have any questions, you definitely can send me a message at lchwriter at gmail.com. All my information is in my bio, so click that if you want more information about me or my website or anything else like that. And you all have a great evening. It was nice talking to you. And remember to be the social butterfly that you're meant to be. That means get off this promotion scope and go find some place to promote yourself and tell people about your books tonight. Have a great evening.